Hello guys, it's my under the goat. Um, it's uh, 6 a.m. and I'm here to like give you guys um some of my watch list. Let's just take our time, you know. Let's take our time. Um, finally, it's paying off this thing. You it's been time, you know, guys, since I was like waiting for this setup to actually play out. As you know, we have the highest height and then like we have the lowest low. So the reason why price drop is one two. We're almost a triple top, you know, okay? So from the daily, we're gonna, you know, from the weekly, we're gonna go to the daily. So based on looking at the daily, guys, um, there isn't much to be done on the daily time frame because it's still as the whatever time frame that I was in. So I'll have to switch to the one to the four hour. So on the four hour, guys, I think um that's where, I think um, my pattern has like played up. You know, that's where my pattern, I think I might have played out there. Because if you were, if you were to check this thing with something like this, which is a one, two, three. So after the one, two, three, you could see there was a break and a retest, break and a retest. Now price is like forming and head and shoulders at the top, you know. So guys, um, once you see those things, you can't unsee them. So, you know, so price is there right now. That's where price is, the current level market price. So now, guys, um, we have to get on 90% rule, which is going to be roughly around here. So from here, guys, we have to go to the what? To the one hour. Um, As you can check, guys, uh, based on the one hour, Prius has been doing whatever I wanted to do. Because uh, if you can check, we had this structure, one, two, three, price went down to, okay. So when price goes down, it gave you what you call a steep flag, guys. So whenever you see this flag, don't be mistaken this is a what this is a steep flag so with this steep flag guys when you're trading patterns you need to have targets so the first target was roughly to be around that level you know so here it's when you are trading the the, the risk entries you know because you have two types of traders you see so we have um one uh, okay two third touch so here it's when you're trading the what the the, the risk entry so this one we can take because there was a break and a return but one two, three, it's still another risk entry, but when price breaks here, you can take the reduced, and this was supposed to be your take profit of this setup. If, let's say if you took this one, this was gonna be your take profit. So right now we could say it's TP number one is hit. So now we are waiting for what? We are waiting for take profit number two. So you can just put these, put your tight stop loss, take profit number one risk. Now we're going to take profit number two. Um. So what I've learned guys, basically, as I was away from the chart is um, I shouldn't look at the bigger targets. I should look at the smaller targets first, you know? So now I'm looking at the what? I'm looking at the smaller targets. So with the smaller targets here, yeah, oh, I know that, okay, I'm sorted with the smaller targets because, you know, price takes time to, to, to go where we want it, you know? So that's why most of the videos you would see us not giving entries because it was the what? It was the long-term trades. But then as now I came back as a better person, you know, guys, I've came back as a better person. So now we know where to take the targets. So most of the time, guys, on the entry time frames, people tend to ask me, yo, my number, where do you enter? Um, I enter most of my trades on the M15, you know? Because, yeah, it's just dope to enter positions there. As you could see, we had this one, then price pushed high. When price pushes there, you could have added this thing here. And this then sort of like a double bottom, a double top, which it respected. So guys, I feel like price has to give you another steep flags, you know, so you can just use those um, flags to 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 your advantage of entering positions. So yeah, if I was you, I was gonna just sell DXY. As you had guys, I gave the first target and the second target. So this was going to be my first entry, stop loss. So number one, number two. So now I'm waiting for price to go to number two. But then as you could see guys, uh, most of the time, um, when I'm teaching, if you're listening, I tend to say price goes down with an impulse, then it gives you a correction. So if you were to check this move, we had an impulse, and this was a what? This was a correction. So a wise trader could have also taken this opportunity. You know, after that, again, it gave you a chance to enter again. Like, guys, um, the patterns on the M15, they're easy to spot, you know, and like it's easy to get your entries there. So on DXY, guys, um, I'm done. I hope uh, you had a little bit of understanding. I hope like it was making sense. Everything was making sense. So now I have to move to another one. 
you know it's nice recording guys i don't know why it's nice recording you know because people will be missing me you woman under the coat when you're coming back you know i only come back to the game when it's necessary you see guys like only when it's necessary there's some points where i think like nah man i don't feel the chats anymore you know but then like uh, now i'm in my full spirit you know guys so I'll be dropping these YouTube videos back to back, you know, but uh, I love the support and everything, guys. Just keeping it 100, price exchange the way. So I'll be recording more. It's me, man, under the goat. It's okay. Um, Euro USD. I think I had an interest on Euro USD. Okay, let's go to the weekly. So the weekly on Euro USD. Okay. And so it was playing out, guys. So, okay, first height. And then I have my lower low. I have my um, important level. So me having those levels, guys, um, I feel like uh, I don't have anything to distract me anymore. So I'll teach from the weekly to the daily. So moving to the daily, we could see that, okay, this thing is like this and we have good touches. All right, which is perfect, you know. And then on top of it, we can put this one, you know, and still perfect because it has the right connects, you know. So price isn't really changing that much. Then we go to the four hour. So being on the four hour, we could see prices formed in inverse head and shoulders at top, you know. So this is a what price is forming in inverse head and shoulders at top. So okay, this is a this is a, what you call, this is a shoulder that you are side that we're having. Okay, it's fine. So again, on the arm left, you need to at least form something like that, you know? So if you were to like form something like this. So what is this? This makes up a what? This makes up a, so, a, a shoulder. So if you were to take this setup, guys, you'd be taking this setup based on what? Based on the pattern that you see. So what is the pattern that you see right now? The pattern that you see right now is the inverse head and shoulder setup, you know? So, okay, my first target, it will be here. Take profit number one, take profit number two. So I'm not done. From here, I have to go to the one hour. So yeah, if you can check the one hour, the pattern is like simply forming out. So with this one, I don't wanna um complicate things, guys. Um, I'll just leave it to the what do you call? I'll just leave it to the um bigger time frame, which is the one hour. Oh. So going down, guys, you could see the price was giving you those patterns, you know. Once you can like master, guys, how patterns moves, you down at the market, guys. Like it just involves more of patterns than anything, you know. So you just need to know how to trade your patterns. So our stop loss is to be tight. And then this will be take profit number one and take profit number two. So this one, I didn't really want to waste much of the time because, you know, currencies, man, they just open just like that. They're open just like that. You know, just needs you to be a good thinker, you know. Yeah, it just needs you to be a good thinker. Here's it, because you could see impulse, it has to give us a correction here, you know. So now the M15, okay, well, maybe we can just use the bar pattern to our advantage. If you were to take it and put it here, you see, so now you need to at least get um, that sort of like what, you need to get that sort of like a, a movement. You get what I'm saying, guys? You need to get that sort of like a movement. So you can go to the one hour, okay? You see, even if you were to go to the one hour, you have to wait for that sideways um correction if i'm making sense you have to wait for that side wait rate uh, correction so this one was euro usd guys um okay let's check usd jpy let's see what we have on euro us euro usd jpy usd jpy Here's here's the GPY guys. Um, okay, I'll start on the daily. The low that I'm having on the daily. The high that I'm having on the daily. 
Lehana is there's nothing much to be done, so I'll move to the what? I'll move to the four hour. So in the four hour, guys, you could see that there was a what? There was a head and shoulder setup, you know. So I'll go to the one hour because I see the head and shoulder setup there. You know, it's just up to me on how will I execute this one. Okay, it's cool. So as a pro, head and shoulder setup played out impulse. And then you had what? You had this correction. Again, price gave you what? A pattern. You know, because price just moves in patterns. It gives you this pattern. You see? So the biggest question is, will it be moving on the downside or what? You know? Will it be moving to the downside or what? Because here, yeah, um, we also have this one here. You can come to that level and form like and retreat from that level. So on this one, guys, um, there isn't much to be done or there isn't much to be said, you know, because it's hectic. So me explaining much on it, I'll be lying to you guys, you understand, guys? So yeah, there isn't much to be said on this one. You know, sometimes, guys, you can like analyze if you don't see the direction, don't force the charts, you know, because the chart, like the charts will blow your account. You know, like when I'm looking at stuff like this, where I see no entry, no nothing, I'm like, it is what it is, you know? That's what I say, I'm like, it is what it is, you know? It is what it is. So when it is what it is, we're just gonna leave it the way it is. So with this one, guys, um, there isn't much to be done, unless if you want me to blow your accounts. Um, I don't know what to analyze anymore. Let's check the NZD pairs, you know. NZD pairs, NZD pairs, they're promising. Let's see. Okay, from the four hour looking at the NZD pairs, um, I could say I had this height and I had this low. Okay, and the, the height came up with the white with the lines, you know. When I say the lines, I'm referring to the trend lines. As you could see, guys, um, price has been respecting these levels, you know. I love, like, when price respects certain um, levels, you see, price is, like, respecting those certain levels, stuff like that, you see. So, when price is, like, respecting the levels, you can go to the one hour and see what's really happening on the one hour, you know, because price can respect. Okay, on the one hour... If you were to check, there's like a little bit of a, like an intersection, you know, call it an intersection. You know, you know what it do, what it do, you know, there's an intersection. So with that intersection, we have what, we have these, you see, which is a pattern inside a pattern. So there was a breakout, you know. So the 90% rule of this trade, basically it was around there, but then price broke that level. So price breaks that level. I feel like we could be forming your what a large flag, you know, guys. I hope you know what is a large flag. So when we are forming a large flag, price can move in in, in terms of uh, these. We can just do something like this, you know. But then, as it does these, we are forming a what a large flag. At the end of the day, you might be having something like this. Then we break. We have a correction. And we go down. So you see that um, if you were to have such setups, like you have to wait. It doesn't come overnight, you know. So you'd be having something like this. So this is the what this is the setup for you in the long run. Like as um trend lines do really work if 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 you put more focus. So my entry will be somewhere around that level. If price doesn't go to that level where I say oh enter, I won't take the position. And then like these, I'm like. Okay, you know what? I'm done for the day. I'm just gonna wash my trades. You, you get what I'm saying, guys? Like, this is how simple you need to like look at the charts. You know, when you look at the charts, you need to be you need to be active. You get what I'm saying, guys? Like, when you look at the chart, the energy has to be there. You know, like you you don't have to force things. You get what I'm saying, guys? Like, be at your best. Like, be do your best. Don't don't force things. Like if you see nothing guys on the chat, it's not a problem not to trade at all, you know? So the problem that you guys do is ugh, you always dodge the stars. You get what I'm saying guys? You can even see for yourself that uh, there's no hope in this setup. So now going to NZDUSD. 
you could see that there's no hope in this setup, but then like whenever you wanna create hope, you don't have to create hope where there is no hope, guys, you know? Like you, 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 will, you will donate, you lose your accounts. You get what I'm saying though, guys? Yeah, so we should stop it. Like when there's no hope, there's no hope. Okay, so let's look at this one. When there's no hope, there's no hope. Understand, like put hope aside and focus more on the charts. It's okay, um, this one is NZD, NZD, uh, NZD, what do you call NZD USD? So the NZD USD also have the same, almost the same similar setup as the one that we had, you know, where we had an intersection, stuff like that, 90% rule reached, you know. You know a lot is happening, guys, in the charts. 90% is reached. So as, as price trying to tell us that we can look for new heights, new, new lows, sorry to say that. I understand. So I'll go to the what? I'll go to the four hour. So yeah, judging from the four hour right now, you could see it nicely on how price is doing things, you know? You understand guys, the price is just moving in a, on a great beats, beats, you know? So just psychology only, you know? Entry level should be there. You know what I'm saying? So now you know that, okay, you have a what? You have an entry level. I think price is even on the entry level. So you having an entry level, it means we, we already know again where price is, what price is going. Entry level is already there. We're just waiting for the um, line, which is our take profit. So I'm just waiting for price to do that. So with this one, I could say, I'm done, you know. You don't have to analyze the past, guys, you know. Always analyze the current stuff and like look at the ways of getting the next direction. Mm, guys, I feel like for 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 for, for today, I'm, I'm done. It's so, okay, guys, uh, to those who really need more, you can just tell me what to analyze in the comment section. And then like, yeah, I'll be looking at them, you know. So now I wanna just do the forecast alone here. So it was me, your brother, man, under the good guys, I'm out. Oh, oh, oh.